then you're gonna see something like so popping up you just have to put a click right here to put a check mark so it's on the left hand side then on the right just click on agree some of you might have got a notification with a code on your iPhone if you had an iPhone or any other Apple product and you would have had to type it up in here. Then we can go on and put any name that you like. You can put Tech Design, like me, or anything else. That's just my YouTube channel, Tech and Design. So that's what I usually use. Unfortunately, we will have to set up a password. I say unfortunately because I don't need one myself, but we're just going to leave it on right now. Later on, we're just going to take it out but keep in mind that you should keep this check mark here where it says allow my apple id to reset this password it's just in case you ever forget your password you can just use your apple id in order to reset it then on the bottom right hand corner again just click on continue on by the way you can change your full name account name to anything you would like then we're going to see this iCloud. It's just going to set up your account. After just a little bit, you're going to see this. You can always customize your settings on the left hand side. However, for now, we're just going to go into continue. Now, this is your touch ID. Touch ID, by the way, it's also your power button. So it's not just for touch ID. And that will be on the top right hand corner of your keyboard. You're going to see that. So once again, we're just going to press on continue on. And all we have to do is just any finger that you like, actually. Go ahead and hold it here. You're gonna lift it up, hold it, 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 lift it up, and you're done. Now you just do that again. Up, down, up, down. I'm not actually pressing on the button, I'm just placing my finger on top of it. Then press continue and we're done with that touch ID. You can also set up Apple Pay. You don't have to, but we're just gonna continue on. If you don't want to, you can press set up later. So that's going to be an option on your screen that you're going to see. Now, if you skipped Apple Pay or you didn't and you set it up, the next thing you will see is this. You're pretty much done with the setup right now. Just click on OK. So the first thing that you have to check is for updates on your Mac. On the top left hand side corner of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. Go into your second option where it says system settings. And then from here, just going to search and put in updates. Then it's going to check for any updates, but, and hopefully you are all up to date. So right now it is. As far as this video, you're all done. You're ready to go. Just remember the basics. You can, as can go on and use Safari, which is your basic web browser. You can download Google Chrome if that's something that you'd like. You don't need to purchase any apps from the App Store. You can definitely download programs into your Mac that are not from the App Store, just in case. And you can customize your Mac to make it fit for you. So you, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with it, but that's another video. That's the manual that I have for your MacBook Pro and or MacBook Air. But as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.